All right, you guys, it's Elevated here, coming at you with August's video, um, titling this one, August of Wind, Earth, and Fire. Um, I've kind of been running out of um, themes for these, um, for this poetry. Like, normally I'll try to, like, add a specific artist or something like that. This one's going to be, like, a little all over the place. I don't even have the info on half of these um, paintings, but, um, but yeah, we'll go ahead and just get right into it. Respect the hands, six senses in their vast perceptions, feel through them. Um, I actually wrote this a couple of years ago before I went to, um, <clears throat> um, well, I don't really want to talk about my profession, but it is a very, like, hands-on. It's not a desk job. Um, I, I do use my hands a lot, and <laughs> it's just funny how I kind of, like, had that inkling <laughs> back then of, like, how important it is to be able to, like, perceive through your hands. Um, I think there's, like, the homunculus or whatever, the... Um, the the statue or the yeah the statue of like um what humans look like if their um body parts were uh sized in relation to the amount of nerves that are present so like obviously the person had like a really big um head and face like eyes are gonna have a lot of nerves back there tongue um stuff like that your hands are like really big as well because you have a lot of nerves in there Whereas, like, your back and, like, your arms and your shoulders were, like, really skinny. Because um, you don't really have a wide assortment. But, yeah, I just thought that was interesting. My own opinion I take with a grain of salt. Others even less so. Yeah. I find that opinions are usually, like, um, worthless, to be honest. Um, taste slightly too sweet, just sweet enough to deprive full resolution. It goes kind of similar to the one I did before, but, like, um... I can't even remember. I use the word like coyingly sweet. That's <laughs> pretty much how I would sum up like most like um, human pleasures. Um, just very like <laughs> what was the line from American Gods? Like it's it's satisfactory on some profound level, but um, completely unsatisfactory on another level beyond that. <laughs> uh. <clears throat> For something to be, it must relate to everything. I th yeah, I think I had a similar one where I said, um, in order for something to be, it must um, be something in relation to me. Um, and this is just playing on that idea more. For something to be, it must relate to everything. I am a slave to my will. <laughs> will, leave me be. <laughs> um, this was probably, like, yeah, how it started, but I'm definitely get, getting, um, control of it now. So, yeah. Don't be like this. <laughs> Thinking disengages vision and location. Um, the more you think about something, like get lost in thought or whatever, you, you're like... You lose focus of where you are and what you're like physically seeing. Rebellious dominion of thought, 
Emotion seek freedom of expression. Mind seeks freedom from them. My eyes feel oversaturated. Oh, to be blind for a day. Fast the vision. <laughs> if only. Sometimes I really do feel like that. Like, people talk about taking a vow of silence. Sometimes I want to take, like, a... Uh, like, the equivalent, but with a vision instead. <clears throat> what am I feeling when I sense the form of a thought? hexagons and fluid dynamics now this one i'm pretty sure i had some idea about that um this is back when um so like they have the um the million dollar math questions there was like seven or ten of them and like several of them have already been solved but one of them is like um truly understanding like fluid dynamics and I, for some reason, figured hexagons would have to be something to do with that. But, um, that thought is lost on me now, unfortunately. Maybe I'll come up with it later. Um, but yeah. <laughs> Nothing like 21st century poverty sent for my iPad. Looking very droll back there, that's funny. Fear is an overwhelming desire to understand slash command. <laughs> it's 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 um a, it's a rebellion against the um uncontrollability of something else. If not now, when it has to become a now at some point a question to tell yourself if you tend to be like a procrastinator or something um octopi and human perception how the mind shackled the body through language and logic um So this one is like, so I, they find that octopi, their nervous system is like more evenly spread out. So it's like you can almost like think in the tentacle the same way they would think in the head. Um, whereas humans generally have like a lot more um, concentration of nerves in the brain. Um, so that's how it's like the mind or the head shackled the body to itself, to its will. Um, through language and logic. Um but then they also have like um what they've recently been discovering is that like the the gut the intestines also have um not as significant of a neural um precedence but it definitely plays a a, a decent effect <laughs> corporatism a new form of government. <laughs> we don't even need government if everything is all corporations, right? Isn't that what um, ANCAPs believe? <laughs> um, chakras and auras, intuitional awareness slash perception of body language slash physiopsychology. Um, I like to play with these things, like, um, play with beliefs, like, almost, like, explain them on a secular level. Um, and this is just a, an example of that. It's like I laugh at this one, but like at the same time, I really do mean it as well. <laughs> um, I'm sorry life hasn't been a good teacher for you. Unfortunately, there's a lot of people who um, I can apply that to. It's really funny. Um, moments of the world, both out and in.
We only comprehend threads of an infinite tapestry. The infuriating tendencies of a dry, dry erase marker. <laughs> that pause betwixt thoughts. Uh, that silence is. That silence is like um, the deeper satisfaction you get as opposed to like the, the cloyingly sweet, uh, slightly too sweet to fully satisfy. <laughs> like this, <laughs> this calmness, this stillness, oof, man. It is like ambrosia. Um, as I stand on the precipice of action, I pause. Love that dynamic. It's so simple, but it's like, it's not static, it's moving. There's motion in that picture. Um, discipline in the face of adversity. History only remembers achievements. Uh, no, you could say that history only remembers successes. <sighs> this one's more like poetic. <laughs> like I just like the the play of like the words and the actual like um, sounds of the words themselves. <laughs> Swimmingly swimming the otters and beavers and platter pie. Rigidity equals fragility. Um, you can take this as like in, in the physical sense, like um, buildings, if you build them too rigid, they, they become really fragile. They'll, they, they'll crumble under any like slight um, earthquake or something like that. Um, but you could also take it in the form of like uh, humans as well if you're too rigid or stuck in your ways you're very uh, keen to uh, like break under like um, pressure if you're not able to adapt to new situations and then just a word I came up with Shasta the shame of an elder failing to garner respect Very sad indeed. Plant. Soft, quiet, steady, resolute, calm, gentle, diminished determinism. Um, this also <laughs> reminds me of like the, what is that? Glacial momentum, uh, mellow tenacity. Earthsea and Yang, soil, dirt, solidity, formed slash flowed by water, and that is it. All right. Um. See you all next time.